Howdy y'all, it's Chris Michelle Fitness, favorite trainer of the belt buckle. Today we're going to be reviewing hip anatomy. Before we get into that, make sure to follow us on Instagram and YouTube if you want to become a trainer. Next class in San Diego, September 10th, here in Los Angeles, roughly October 14th. Check us out on shellfitness.com. So in class, second semester, we're getting into the hip anatomy. And how we teach hip anatomy, we use the Illustrated Essentials of Musculoskeletal Anatomy, 5th edition, Segan Adams. It's like a $30 or $40 simple anatomy book. It's going to give you the basics, origins, insertions, actions, palpation, how you can feel it, and the nerve innervation. So before we get into the 40 muscles around the hip, start with the basics. So how we teach is we look at the, the basic groups that you do in the gym. Anterior muscles, which are your quads, means four. Posterior hamstring muscles, there's three. You got your glutes, which are three, and you have your adductor muscles, which are three, and you have five calf muscles. Yes, there are more than those blanket categories, but we're just going to go over the, the simple, these categories right now. Skelly is going to help out a little bit. So the glute, I think that's the easiest. We have the max, which is the big one. It's going to abduct in the frontal plane. It's going to extend in the sagittal plane, posteriorly tilt. And it's also going to transverse externally rotate. So the glute max, you have the med, gluteus me, uh, medius, and then you have the minimus, which is below it. So you can remove the med, and you're going to find the min very deep. Hamstring muscles. From, the, from that view, the posterior view, I know that's a great view right there, these, these cakes. But the hamstrings, the lateral is going to be your bicep femoris. So if you reach your hand behind your knee, you're going to feel... The medial portion, there's two like guitar strings. And those guitar strings are your semi-membranosus and semi-tendinosus. And then you have the lateral, which is your bicep femoris. So when you're looking on the outside lateral, bicep femoris, the medial, you're going to have your semis, semi-membranosus, semi-tendinosus. Quadricep. You have one biarticulate quad muscle. The rectus femoris is going to flex the hip, also extend the knee. The other three quad muscles are all going to extend the knee as well. So you have four muscles, rectus femoris, which is the big one crosses both joints. The lateral, vastus lateralis, vastus in Latin means large. Medialis, NASM calls it your VMO. In the bodybuilding world, they're going to call it the teardrop. It's your inner quad muscle. You remove the rectus femoris, you're going to have the vastus intermedius. So again, the quads, you have the large rectus femoris. It's going to flex and extend. And then all the quad muscles extend the knee. Vastus lateralis, medialis, remove the rectus femoris, and the vastus intermedius. The adductor group, Major League Baseball, MLB. Adductor magnus, which is the larger one, all in your inner thigh. Adductor longus and adductor brevis. You have the anterior calf muscles. So let's look at the bones real quick. You have the patella, which is the kneecap. The femur, the largest bone in the body. Your tibia is the largest medial bone on the lower shank outside of the femur. So you have your tibia. Think of T-Rex, big tibia. And then the lateral is going to be your fibula. Move distally, you're going to have the tarsals, metatarsals, and then your phalanges. Same with the hands. But you have the carpals, metacarpals, and then your phalanges are the most distal bones. The ankle bone is your Achilles. Sorry. The Achilles goes into your calcaneus. So the actual ankle bone, like when you're squatting, the, the heel bone would probably be better, your, would be your uh, calcaneus bone. The Achilles goes into that, of which the Achilles is going to be your gastrocnemius as well as your soleus. Let's go back to the front part, the front shank. You have the anterior tib, tibialis. Behind that, you have your posterior tibialis. And then the middle is going to be your peroneals. You have your peroneal brevis. You have longus, tertius, I believe. But just your peroneal muscles work. And then keep on moving posteriorly. You're going to have the soleus first and then the gas jock. So I call it a burger. You have the most posterior calf muscle, the gas jock nemus. That's the aesthetic one. You can see, look at those beautiful suckers right there. It's the pretty looking thing that a lot of guys want. It's like, oh, I want big calves, right? The gas chalk is the one you can see behind the gas chalk is the soleus. You have your peroneal muscles, which are three. Posterior tip and anterior tip. That's from the back to the front. 
And then we have, that's it. So again, quad muscles, four, hamstrings, three, adductors, three, five calf muscles, and then your big gluteus group, of which the most powerful muscle, gluteus maximus. Lower body anatomy, when you look at the muscles around the hip, there's over 40, because you can look into the oblique region, rectus abdominis, your lats, erector muscles, a lot of muscles go around the hip. 40 around the hip, 17 around the shoulder. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and YouTube, and if you want to become a trainer, all you gotta do, show up.